An opening week continues in the Northwoods League. The Mand and Flickertails are trying to get through this early part of the season, all without a head coach. It has been an unusual start to the Flicker Tail season. Formerly the Thunder Bay Border Cats out of Canada, the team has had to move south for the summer. We just kind of keep preaching to the players, you know, we got to be flexible in, in a situation like this, and they've done a great job. I mean, I know the Larks have done a ton of stuff, so we're just trying to keep the guys fed, keep them in good spirits, and try and get on the field. However, head coach Mike Steed is stuck in Canada until the border restrictions lift. Players he recruited figuring out how they fit on the team with him gone. All my communication about this was through him, so the fact that he wasn't here when I got here, I mean, it was kind of, it sucks, but I understand the situation that they're in out there. So uh, before I left, I actually got in contact with one of the coaches and then just try to build a bond between them before I got out here. The Flicker Tails have a roster made up of mostly Division I talent. 24 total, a stat that these coaches don't pay attention to. There's good baseball at all levels, so, um, you know, it doesn't matter where you play. If you don't if you don't bring it in a, in a game, you know, you're going to get rolled over anyway. Damon Hale comes from Yavapai College, a JUCO, but is a highly touted prospect for the class of 2019. Batting over 400 in his first three games, Hale wants to make things happen at the top of the lineup. I really want people to enjoy watching me play. Uh, that's one of my things. I, I like to inspire people, whether it's just in, in front of people, off the field, on the field. But uh, I know a lot of people that come and watch are kids, and uh, you know they just want to they just want to see a good ball game, and I just want to be able to put on a show as best I can. It's just going to be a lot of fun, and, and hopefully we can bring a good brand of baseball uh, to Bismarck and, and hopefully entertain some fans. The Flicker Tales return to action tonight, looking to take down the undefeated Bismarck Larks. Thank you very much.